This is Ki Apex here, and I finally have created Apex Alien. Also, I just nearly took a picture right before this. <clears throat> Can't do it this side. Come on, get the thing. This angle. So you see, we're outside because you know I want the angle like, just a little from some of since one of the images I seen the the dude has saw two from the angle, so I wanted to be more like jungle area. Now I'm not good with posing, but I feel like it's a good and come back to thing. Anyway, that's the only reason why I came out here. We're actually going to do the review inside my house, so don't worry. But, I just wanted to do the little angles out here. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad I was dry enough to do it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it, and then we're going to see back in the side of my room. Alright, we're back in my room. And as you see my creation. Also, the image of two priorities, I feel like one more thing. I was going to, originally I had planned for my, um... My, my my hunter with the scythe to do it, and maybe someone else. But I was like, you know what? Nah, let's do a predator. Plus, I don't want to have full versions of me doing my own versions of whoever did the sawtooth thing. You know what I'm saying? I want to show that this thing is better. All right. So one, you know, scaling this creature is the size of a dragon fairy tale. So it's gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you Xeno slaying magic. Yep. Anyway. Anyway, if y'all don't get the reference, then that don't matter. Anyways, y'all see how. So, okay, let's go. So, really, I think the only thing out there that's bigger than this, that's the make foot line, that's a custom, is the Xeno Dragon. And I'm not even sure about that. It definitely has more bulkier parts. But yeah, so you got this. 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 I wish I had the image of Sawtooth Alien, but. I mean, it's online. Just go to the, um, if any of y'all go to, like, the little, the, the letter thing where you can go, it's like, what, T? It's the website. I don't know what to call it. You know what, you know, if you look up Breakout Beast Beast Lair, and then you see how it says the website where it tries to show, it shows image like a store thing. Click that and go all the way, and, you know, go one, one of the recent ones. Not the, I think it's like Fire or something. Is that all the way? Where the recent ones, like three back? I, have, I don't know if there's anything new out there, but on the recent ones, and then you see a person make a sock, you can go back a couple of the images, and, and then you can see um, the saw to alien. Like, I don't want to like, try to do a slideshow or pull up on my tablet someone else's thing. Now, while he clearly put it on the internet, so it's going to be seen by 100, I wouldn't want to like put it on my YouTube channel, and I don't have permission to do that. You know, I don't want to do that. That's why you don't see me trying to, like, record images I see that's online from, like, hey, Xbox, um, from the Unbox. Now, while I do know um, E-Bomb has his own channel, if he, want, if he want his dragon to be seen on his channel, he will put it on his channel. Point blank. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pop up and show that and, have, and they get mad about it or something, you know? Anyway, you know, like this. See, I wasn't even thinking of like this creation. I was thinking about making a second Praetorian. Then I was going like, to do something with the other things with probably with the Ravzinos. And then I would have had a rogue game. But now look at this. Apex. We're going to go to articulation after this. But I want y'all to like to see the detail. Anyway, my creation would definitely beat that saw too. It was pretty sure it's larger. So, okay, so now we gotta talk about the articulation. So, one, the tail, you know, spiral, it still has the, the image joint tail that you can just pop off and roll up and just stab. So, you got that. And of course, you got the, the big joint here. Um, then we got, we got the legs where you see, like, like I said, this is took. Opening four queens, getting four queens though. Like I said, these little fair pieces I just did uh, the way. And yeah, I, anyway, Rogan and I really didn't spare no pieces really for him. For yeah, for him. Like, yeah. You know, you want to make your own buck creations. Like you know, get a bunch of queens and then you can do some. Okay, join it. Though this is gonna take you a couple pre-building and pre-ideas for it. And then you see, up two, up two. And I would give a size comparison to like Rogue and them. 
This thing is huge on all fours. And then it was standing up. Rogue is barely a third of its size. Heck, I think. No, he's barely half the thing's size. And the queen's technically smaller. All right. And that's how we got the articulation here. The wrist. The wrist. The wrist. And I'm, no, I'm not going to lie, it took me a couple revisions, a couple had to tweak things here. This kept popping up, but now I got where it's sturdy. <laughs> Alright, now for the neck, the second pair of arms. So we see we see that this is here, though. This is just meant to be hooking this up. This doesn't count kind of articulation, it's just being moved. But you know, since it moves, it's articulation. So, you get this, it can move up. Maybe you can have it as a projectile. Oh, wait a minute, this is custom, so you're not going to be doing this. You got this up and down, you got this swivel, swivel, and then you got the um, ball joint right here, here, and then moving here. And I'm showing y'all like, it's just showing y'all more just a detail, just in case y'all want to try make your own giant casino thing to help y'all out. Like I said, Sawtooth was the basis I got to create Apex. Not gonna lie, now while there's really nothing at all that looks similar, except for the fact they all come with alien queens. Alien queens. That's why I got the inspiration, though. I, I can see that I clearly didn't know how to go with that. If I wanted to get look, look, make it look a little closer, I had to go with my own thing. And I was just trying to make it where it worked and functioned versus me trying to get... Because like I said, this is supposed to be my own version anyway. So, you know, you can see the heavy differences that's right there. And to be quite honest, what I told y'all, I didn't even have inspiration from this person. Y'all wouldn't know. No, y'all would just be like, oh, yeah, they're on styles. You know, because like I said, it's different. Oh, now here's a prominence form. And then, of course, you got the, like, the neck, the neck to neck. And God dang it, the piece came off. And you got this. Oh, what? Well, this moves up. Yep, this. Yep, when this moves up, he's going to do some type of dark clamp ability, I guess. <laughs> and then you got the jaw articulation and go up and down. But yeah, that's it. And um, disregard the piece that popped off. Dang it, hold positioning, guys. Okay, there we go. So not gonna lie, the back legs are more attuned to what the um the back ones is more attuned to what the dude showed. But all right, so I guess now I will show y'all the um comparisons if I can. But first, I want to angle it right so I can actually do that when I move over there. All right, here we here we go. Wait, hold up, sorry y'all, sorry, sorry. All right, so pretty much roughly scale. You see him next to, if you can see them all trying to work together and him having the bloody alien. You see you see this, god dang it, hold up. Okay, I gotta move this to like the side. Okay, first of all, I want the Xeno back in his hand. You're, you're being bled out, you're being attacked. Okay, let's have him on this leg. Stand it up, no, 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 stand. And the Xenomorphs that he just murdered, I don't know, to bring them back to life. Bring it back to life. Alright, and then let's put you here. Stably. Oh. Sorry that y'all looking at the floor right now, y'all. Just I need just stably to put put him here. Alright, there we go. Anyway, so you see the thing roughly scam. And it makes sense that he's longer too. You see King Alien. You see how the size difference how it is with him just you see the size difference with him just on all fours and things standing up. And Rogue Alien is just barely that much larger than the Queen, as you can see here. And you can see that, yeah, he is larger than him by a little bit. So, put that in here. But let me just show y'all with the scale wise if I had this thing standing up. Now, I don't know if I can get the thing to stand up on its own. We would have to see. So, um, I'm going to. Have y'all just stare at the, at the egg doesn't have weight. Okay. Do you have weight? Okay, okay. My phone's pretty heavy. So. Okay, I, I guess y'all can look at the breakout B stuff while I'm doing it. And it might be too top heavy for this, but you know, and the legs may not be that strong to support the weight. 
but Rick will try. So we're gonna try to have it like as sturdy as possible. Maybe let's spread out the arms a little bit. Mm, just a little bit. And then I maybe stretch out the tail. It's like a sports bra or something. My cover will really give them like the balance of that, I guess. I think, but I think the thing is more of like the position of how much weight the legs can carry. But, you know, I can I can try. Maybe I have it crunched forward. Okay, no, no, no. The ball joints make it where the weight cast on. So we're just gonna have to hold them while it's standing. So we see the thing standing up. Of course, I'm holding it, but it's, uh, God dang it. Okay, this was, oh wait, I have a crouch down again for some reason. And here we go. So we see this on the scale. This thing just murdering a rogue for food. Him running down, killing dragons like it's nothing. This is Apex. I mean, this is Apex. This is the predator of predators. The aliens of aliens. This is what we're here. This is what I've created. And now, the place where I'm going to put him in. I don't know. He might get his own show for me because I'm still thinking if I'm gonna have like the air wire with the hunters. Hunters will have all aliens up here, and they're all just getting ready to attack this. And have this fortress come up here. I'm still thinking, thinking. So I might do that later. Maybe do that in the week. But yeah. Um. But hmm. these videos are being shorter and shorter because I've got no new avenue to tell y'all anything. I might make some more customs, you know, maybe more some more like abominations, you know, with some of the guys that have some spare parts, plenty of spare parts to make some, though one of them may be weapons, some, some things that might make some other entity creatures that actually use body parts and articulation, but really, really, but otherwise, I don't know, because most likely everything from Breakup is one that probably not going to become actually out until like February or maybe March. Though by then that's when we will begin I will be hopefully in a bunch of breakout pieces will be the frame frost set if that's the says the thing. Um series six. Um sorry about that. Series six. Um series two spitters I won't. I won't do a review of the um, the Alien series too, because it's really just recolors and whatnot. So I don't really care much to do the review on that. A review on that, and I'm like, <sighs> maybe, maybe some. Mm, I don't know, Beast Lair, if Beast Lair kicks back up, then I get Beast Lair. Depending on what it is, if Beast Lair does stay a thing, because we know we already know the Dragon Pack has pretty much been canceled. Now that, the Dragon Pack comes back up, I'm not getting it regardless, because it looks boring. It's not that the boring, it's cool, it's just, you know, more fire and ice dragons. It's just not, it's not up there. Though that might be, though I still feel like it's done, and that's why we got like, Venusaur, Venusaurus, Venusaurus, and um, the little the t the dinosaur dragon in this wave because they're both recreations of what was in the dragon pack. Which mm, I prefer these rec recreations versus the dragon pack. Yeah, I am fine with that. That works. No, so you know, fine with that. I'm a Beastler. No, I'm seeing Sam getting Beastler or whatever. If it says then my thing is this: one, the price of Beastler is gonna be a little bit pricey. Another thing, it depends on the beast. Now, five beasts, I can understand pricing. But if it's like something that's like, oh, if beasts are just like all dragons, it's like ice and fire, or maybe venom, and they're not, they're just not really that cool looking or special looking. I'm not gonna get it for like the whole exit. Because the thing is, I'm really focused on the beast. Cause I'm not gonna lie. The rest of the fact the egg can turn into a base, I may or may not just have the egg set up up here with all the other eggs. Heck, heck, I'm tempted to put to put one of these eggs back in there. I, I really just collect the eggs and put them in the box. I don't really use them. I just want to use them here because it's, you know, egg effect. But I really don't use the eggs here. 
So, I mean, while I want to use the fortress for humans and whatnot, but I really may or may not use the whole fortress effect. So I wouldn't be buying it for the fortress, I'd be buying it for the beast. And if the beasts are not interesting or cool or whatnot, I'm not going to get them. Now, the beast is full of wolves. Mm, I may or may not. Dragons. Mm, depends how the dragons look. Um, Griffin. Mm, that, that's a shuffle. That's a shuffle. And then, like, you know, dinosaurs. Okay, and that's, that's more Faraby. Or the sea creatures. All right, I mean, you got my attention there. Like you said, I still want to have some type of way to make a Hydra. Just, I, I want to make some that I feel can really, truly, has multiple limbs, the heads, or tentacles that can truly challenge Skull Glazer. Just want some. So I can do it. <laughs> but no, that's one reason I really want Beast Lurk. That and the fact that one of the beasts is supposed to be larger than the other ones. Though, I still think if that's the case, I'll, I'll be re going to get a whole new larger scale body. Which I'm not sure if they're doing that. Because look at, because Series 6, no new pieces at all. Now this Beastler, we can get a new head mode for all we know. Beastler says the thing, and I'm not, and I'm no, and don't worry, I'm not gonna ramble. And or you know maybe they, they put the new body mode in that wave, and I mean in the lair, and that's why they got no new things in there because like oh we're making new stuff, but we want to put make new stuff special, so we don't want no spoilers, so we're gonna put it in the way in the um the lair, and then for all we know, we know Meg Constrix cannot really be trusted what we see on the pamphlets, cause well look at Golden Thug. And his pamphlet, he has wolf legs. Yet, yeah, get him. Reptilian legs. And then, let's we'll think about Vile. Vile had the same arm piece as Glazer. Yet, yeah, when you get him, he has a whole new brand, new arm piece. Armor piece. So, I mean, some of those pieces that we see him having may be different. Not gonna lie. Heck, I'm almost tempted to be worried that they might show all these standard beasts having the body part, right? But then when we get the beast, one of the beasts that we see in the pamphlets is not there, but it has a different head. Which, I'll kind of be upset. I'm not going to lie. And now, you know why I'll be happy with a new head? It's just, I wouldn't want something that'd be drastically different than what I see in the pamphlet. Like, it's one thing for the legs to be switched out or tails, but if I have a whole head piece switched out, it's like, you change this whole creature in the flip of the dime. It's, it's like, look. And I feel like that's the problem when they're not done making stuff yet they show images. Do it not they should then that's what really messes things up. Messes it up and they change the last minute. So I actually hope there's no new body. Now there's a new body. I mean I feel like that's very drastic too. But you know, a new body, okay, I guess. Though I don't really think any of those creatures should fit the payroll to be bigger than the rest. But like I said, they be a little flipsy washy washy. But you know, you know, so Beastler stays actually st becomes a thing in his act, or or you know, or they make some other version of Beastler, where it's like it's a little different between or whatnot. Beasts are good. I'll get it. Otherwise, heck, I won't get Beastler because beforehand I was that's not hype. But the thing is, is, I don't know what creature was, and if the thing, if because the things lackluster, then I'm not gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to lie. For like, I'm probably buy one alien egg like I'm never that. I may or may not buy three of the um, series um, two spitters. Really don't care too much to get the whole thing. Um, I may or may not buy four or five series four breakout beasts. I mean, <laughs> series, series six breakout beasts. And then you got to get Fame Frost. And you see the pricing there? So yeah. Hmm, I guess I made this video longer because I'm mentioning that. But really, it's not that. Um, I might do another, a game video today. I'm still not sure. So, be aware of that. But that's it, though. That's it. Um, see you on the game video, or maybe this weekend. Or whatnot. And as always, let the chaos guide you. Oh yeah, my my snakes and lizards doing okay. But the chaos guide you.